टर्बो मशीन्स लेट एस डिफाइन दिस टर्बो मशीन टर्बो मशीन इज अ डिवाइस इन व्हिच एनर्जी ट्रांसफर टेक्स प्लेस बिटवीन अ फ्लोइंग फ्लूड एंड अ रोटेटिंग एलिमेंट ड्यू टू डायनामिक एक्शन एंड रिजल्ट्स इन द चेंज ऑफ प्रेशर एंड मोमेंटम ऑफ द फ्लूड सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन द टाइप ऑफ टर्बो मशीन the pressure and momentum of the fluid may increase or decrease these turbo machines are classified mainly into two types one is power producing turbo machine it is also called as the power generating turbo machine and another one is the power absorbing turbo machine if the energy is extracted from the fluid flow then it is called as the power producing turbo machine for example turbines if water is used as the fluid then it is called as the hydraulic turbine if steam is used as the fluid then it is called as the steam turbine if air is used as the fluid then it is called as the wind turbine next we'll study power absorbing turbo machine if the energy is given to the fluid by the rotating element then it is called as the power absorbing turbo machine for example compressors pumps even the ceiling fan which we use in our homes these are all the examples of the power absorbing turbo machines so now we'll study the general parts of a turbo machine so this is the sketch of the axial flow steam turbine these are the parts of the turbo machine one is rotor fixed blades moving blades casing so you can see here this is the rotor it is also called as the rotary drum which is mounted on this shaft and the moving blades are mounted on this rotary drum you can see here these are the moving blades which are mounted on this rotary drum and whereas these are the fixed blades which are mounted on the casing and this is the inlet of the turbine and this is the outlet of the turbine so now we will study what are the functions of this fixed blades and the casing these fixed blades are also called as the stationary blades and the function of this fixed blade and the casing is to guide the fluid which is flowing through the turbo machine it guides the fluid flow in a particular direction and at the same time the function of the casing is also in order to avoid the splashing of the fluid in order to avoid the fluid flow in the outside so this casing is provided so when the steam enters the turbine here you can see here here it is a smaller portion and the area cross sectional area of the steam turbine it goes on increasing when the steam enters a smaller portion of the turbine as it expands the specific volume of the steam goes on increasing with the the reduction in the pressure so to in order to accommodate the same flow rate throughout this turbo machine we need to increase the flow area of the turbo machine for that purpose the cross sectional area of the turbo machine goes on increasing here you can see here for that purpose also the height of the blades also goes on increasing now coming to this moving blade moving blades the function of this moving blade 
is to extract the energy from the steam and convert it into mechanical energy to drive this rotor or rotary drum and as this moving blades rotates the drum also rotates as drum rotates this shaft rotates and this shaft which is coupled to the generator where electricity is produced in the generator as the steam flows over this moving blades it is accelerated with the reduction in pressure and temperature of the steam so which causes the increase in the velocity of the steam when it is flowing over the moving blades so this increase in velocity over this moving blades it creates a force which acts on these moving blades and causes them to rotate so already i have told you as these moving blades rotate because of the force which acts on the moving blades by the steam so as these moving blades rotate this drum also rotates as drum rotates this shaft rotates and this shaft which is coupled to the generator where where the shaft of the generator also rotates where electricity is produced in the generator so this is the explanation about the different parts of the turbo machine